Hello and welcome to another Build With Me. This one's going to be a little bit different from the previous ones as this is more of an advanced project. This is going to span a number of videos as this is quite a big project. This is a kit that I've got of Banggood. I'll leave the link in the description below. Sort of cryptically their description of it is a DIY kit, electronic training, welding, production, light cube, canton tower, LED lights, Bluetooth music, electronic production parts, lampering version. And that really trips off the tongue very easily. Basically what it is, it's a tower of LEDs. And I think they're all RGB, or most of them are RGB LEDs, and so there's colour changing, and it stands nearly a metre tall. So, this is the box that it came in. Let's dig in and let's just see exactly what is provided uh, with this kit. A bag of components. Some bubble wrap. A little speaker. A big bag of LEDs. I think there's over 500 in there. Oh, and some very uh, springy nylon fibers. Let's take a closer look in this crinkly bag. Small bundle of wire, hookup wire. Audio lead, USB, I'm guessing that is power, looks like on the USB lead there's only power connections on that. We have a remote, a bag of components, I'm not going to open this just yet, as there's a number of surface mount components in with this, quite a few actually. Well, I just don't want to uh, get them lost before I've even started. We've got two main circuit boards. Now, as you can see on this one, this is quite densely populated and with quite a lot of surface mount chips, including there's a Bluetooth module as well as part of this. microcontroller with some uh, surface mount resistors and capacitors underneath. So this is not particularly a beginner's project although if you're careful I suppose you can do it. And then this board appears to be mainly an interconnect board. So this is a close-up or closer view of the main circuit board. It's very densely packed. As you can see uh, these integrated circuits are all upside down compared to this main, I presume, microcontroller and these four chips over here. So that'll be something to watch out for getting the, these uh, oriented the right way around. There's what the underneath of that looks like. Not a huge amount. But we have got a silk screen on both sides and at least we've got it identified as well for uh, polarity, for power. That's nice and refreshing that they've taken the, the time to do that. And then here's a close-up of or closer view of basically the interface board. This plugs in to the other board uh, and then everything gets wired, all the LED rings uh, gets wired down onto this. There's the other side of that in case you want to have a look at that. And we've got all of the little PCBs for the LEDs. 
Hopefully by the time I release this video I will have found pic or got pictures of it completed. Maybe not my particular one, but at least to give you an idea of what it's all about. So as you can see there's various these all need separated out. As you can see there's little I think they call them mouse bites where you can just uh, nibble away and snap away these. So there's quite a few of all these rings. And, uh, a few little top ones. Uh, as you can see this is going to take a little while to build up. I'm going to take all of these out. So they're five millimeter LEDs. Let's zoom you down on that. So yeah, five mil RGB LEDs. When we zoom down, I can show you just these little circuit boards that I can break out. Let's see if we can go in a bit further. See yeah, the little mouse bites just there. So these two boards will get snapped out. According to this label, it says a thousand of these LEDs. I, I don't think there's a thousand in this. I think there's only just over 500. According to the description on the web page, is about 550. Surprisingly, for a number of the kits that I've got, uh, I've had very poor documentations or instructions. Uh, this one is surprisingly good, actually. I've actually printed off a couple of of the sort of manuals or instruction booklets. They're more pictorial uh, than actual. Uh, the writing making a huge amount of sense but it does give some uh, some basic guidance which is much better than what a number of the other kits that I've had have been pretty atrocious with that so this part is basically just an introduction to the building of this uh, like I say this is going to take up a number of parts uh, this one uh, is starting off with an introduction as to what's basically in the kit and then further parts will be released uh, with actual build progress on this. So stay tuned for more and further updates. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.